for a full three hours of Saturday night entertainment as we join all of the gang at the one and only National Barn Dance. Up out and throw, hop in three, and drown and a gone again. Throw, hop out and circle four, no big toe, and a just big toe, and a big finger root, and up a little tater roll. Thank you, Jerry Golden, and a great big howdy, howdy, howdy to everybody everywhere. Yes, it is the oldest, the longest, continuously broadcast program of any kind anywhere in the world, the one and only National Barn Dance. Kids are all here, raring and ready, so what say, kids? Get around. Let's have a song. Circle up and along, swing lead to the right and circle four, bird in the cage and circle three, bird hop on and go hop in three, and I'm on and go again. Saturday night at the old barn dance, everybody is happy and gay. Pumpkins on the rafter, batter in the cage, get the music going. National Barn Dance, and we are having a wonderful time. Hello there, Dolph. We're going to get going here with a song which uh, it's my job to sing, and then on with the National Barn Dance. Here, Rattler, here. By the way, you might be interested to know that this old song's been around uh, 150 years or so, and uh, you listen to this melody and think of the words to an old song called Pistol Pack and Mama, and I think you'll find the whole melody right here. Oh, Rattler was a good old dog, as blind as he could be. Every night at supper time, I believe that dog could be. Yeah, Rattler, yeah. Yeah, Rattler, yeah. Call old Rattler from the barn. Yeah, Rattler, yeah. Old Rattler treat the other night. When I come to find it out, he was barking at the moon. Here, Rattler, yeah. Here, Rattler, yeah. Call old Rattler from the bar. Here, Rattler, yeah. Now we had one old yellow hen. We set her, as you know. Set her on three for the next dance. She had not one old crow. Here, Rattler, yeah. When she was born, it took a jaybird forty years to fly from horn to horn. Here, Rattler, yeah. Here, Rattler, yeah. Call old Rattler from the barn. Here, Rattler, yeah. I climbed the Blue Ridge Mountains, they're forty-seven miles around. Think I'll buy me a stage racks and cut the mountain down. Call old Rattler from the barn. Here, yeah, Rattler, yeah. Come on, Tiny. Here. 
we say, and then sing it, yeah. And on with National Barn Dance now, front and center are the Midwesterners. Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Robert. Robert. You going to take a little trip to the Cumberland Mountains, it says yeah, here. Yeah, figure I'm going for the next two weeks. Oh, fine. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> of the National Barn Dance, uh, something over 36 years ago. It has only had one queen. That queen was on that first broadcast and, of course, grows sweeter as the years go by, and so do her songs. Here is that queen of the National Barn Dance, Grace Wilson. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, as always. Kind. Everywhere you go, oh, everywhere you go, the sunshine falls you, and everywhere you go, the skies are always blue. The little children, they love you, cause they seem to know that you bring the roses right out of the snow, and the whole world says. idea why she's been the queen all these years. That was Grace Wilson singing for us. Everywhere you go, the sunshine follows you. Well, it's time we had some good old zip guitar music now, steel guitar that is, played for us on our national barn dance by a boy from Paducah, Kentucky, Tiny Murphy, and he says he wants to do for us the steel guitar stomp. <laughs>
you, Tiny. Thank you very much. Tiny Murphy playing for us. Steel guitar stomp, of course, on the steel guitar. Time now that you met the king of the National Barn Dance. Here's a boy who... Oh, boy. You gonna sing this, Dolph? Yeah. Dolph just stuck a song title up here that uh, is the title of a tune that he rode the glory on here a few years back. Great big phonograph record and did personal appearances all over the nation on the strength of that. And, of course, his appearances here on the National Barn Dance regularly. Dolph Hewitt is the boy I'm speaking of. And I'm going to get out of the way and let Dolph sing for you, I Wish I Knew. I wish I knew. How much you love me Such tangled thread Of love you weave You say you're mine And then you grieve me I wish I knew this what to believe If I could read your mind My darling What hope of love Would I find there I wish I knew how much you love me, I wish I knew this, how much you care. I wish I knew how If I believe, will I regret what will I mean to you tomorrow, someone to love dear, or to forget? If I could read your heart, my darling, would it be said to anchor there? I wish I knew how. I wish I knew this, how much you care. I wish I knew, sung for us by the king of the national barn dance, Dolph Hewitt. Thanks a lot, Dolph. I'd like you to meet my mean old wife. <laughs> you all. How are you doing tonight, McGee? Just fine. Just Good. Fine. I see we got a uh, small type duet to do here. Yes, we do. Well, you sing the bridges. All right, I'll do that. And I'll just uh, join in on the opening <laughs> closes here. Or something. I had him waxing floors today. First time, first time. So he's tired now. <laughs> They're all beat up and everything. Oh, look at the girls all applauding here. Well, let's, let's make applauded. it the last time, too. <laughs> in my adobe hacienda. In my at the end of there's a touch of Mexico cactus lovelier than orchids blooming in the patio soft desert stars and the strum of guitars make every evening seem so sweet in my at the end of life 
Adobiasi, and the harmony is everywhere. Well, stage robbers. Yeah. yeah, it is. Stage riders front and center. Here, we've got three real handsome boys here in the old hayloft to really let go every once in a while. And I see, uh, oh, this is not true, fellas. Is this is the song Wondering What's Over the Hill, or are you just yeah. saying that you're over the hill? Well, <laughs> that could be taken two ways. <laughs> Well, we're going to take it that you're going to sing Wondering What's Over the Hill. That's right. All right, boys, let's hear it. Wandering down the road of life, wondering what's over singing for us Over the Hill. If I'm not mistaken, that's one of Bob Nolan's tunes, isn't it? Boy Willing. Boy Willing? Well, that's getting awful close. Riders of the Purple Sage instead of the Sons of the Pioneers. Right. <laughs> well, we have a young fella here in the old hayloft who is Mr. Music in Chicago, and uh, long about now, I think he's going to team up with a, with a fellow who has the same last name. They call each other cousins. I don't know how how uh, if there is any relationship at all. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Johnny Frigo and his fiddle uh, are the Mr. Music I spoke of, and the the cousin is Lino Frigo with the accordion, and they're going to do some real high-powered uh, harmony here now with an old favorite called Bye Bye Blues. <laughs>
Bye bye blues. Those boys. Do you write those things out? I think we did. You did? The little courses in between where we were speaking. Oh, well, I was wondering how you could do such fast stuff and and uh, still play that harmony. Now, that was written up. Well, that was good. That was Johnny Frigo on the fiddle and, uh, of course, Lino Frigo with the accordion playing some real high-powered fast harmony, a tune called Bye Bye Blues. We're going to take five minutes out. Here is Jerry Golden. You're in tune with 890 on the dial. This is WLS in Chicago. Cheer up. Cheer up. Listen for the big news Monday on the new WLS radio, 890 in Chicago. Cheer up. Cheer up. It's 825. Good evening. This is Jerry Golden reporting five minutes of the latest news as compiled in the WLS newsroom. Chicago police are intensifying their search tonight for 18-year-old Jerry Nemke, the prime suspect in the vicious assault and beating of a 16-year-old waitress. The girl, Marilyn Ray Duncan of 5537 North Luna Avenue, is in critical condition tonight at Resurrection Hospital following surgery for severe blows about the head. A pair of sunglasses identified as Nemke's were found near the unconscious girl this morning on a railroad right-of-way on the northwest side. Ten teams of detectives were assigned to the search for Nemke. The ceremonies dedicating the new University of Chicago Law School continue tonight. This afternoon, Chief Justice Earl Warren met with the students and faculty on the Midway campus. This evening, his British counterpart, Viscount Kilmuir, Lord High Chancellor of Great Britain, will speak. And on another part of Chicago's campus, things are festive, but not so formal. It's the annual Beaux Arts Ball. Movie stars Edward Everett Horton and Colleen Moore will choose the best costumes. A threatened strike by Continental Airlines flight engineers has been averted at the last minute. An injunction issued by a federal judge in Los Angeles prevented the walkout of 39 engineers at Chicago's Midway and O'Hare airports and at other fields where the airline operates. The engineers are protesting a company plan which would force them to take pilot training. A Milwaukee man made good his threat to break into a jewelry store today because he wanted to go to jail. 22-year-old James Nearbass called police and informed them of his intention. After smashing the window of a jewelry store and taking a cigarette lighter, he went to a restaurant and again called police to ask them to arrest him. Nearbass said he wanted to be jailed because he had suffered misfortunes, including the death of his childhood sweetheart. He was charged with criminal damage to property. The search for two lacrosse youths apparently drowned in the Mississippi River Wednesday will go into its fourth day tomorrow. Yesterday, searchers recovered a boot worn by one of the boys about a quarter of a mile north of the boathouse from which the two disappeared. The youths are Paris Engler and William Crutz, both 17. The boys' boat, a 10-foot skiff, and the leather jacket of William Crutz were found earlier about two miles downstream from the houseboat. A move to consolidate all the lower courts into a single circuit court system will be put before the Illinois Central Assembly. The governing board of Illinois State and Chicago Bar Association announced approval for such an amendment to the state constitution. Gerald Snyder, president of the Illinois Bar Association, says selection of judges would be changed under the amendment to a new procedure. A list of names would be submitted to the voters, and the incumbents would run on their records. Well, in baseball today, rain in Chicago flooded out the White Sox game with Detroit and washed the Yankees into undisputed first place in the junior circuit. The Yanks easily subdued the Baltimore Orioles by a lopsided score of 16 to nothing. The Pale Hose and Detroit, now a half game behind New York, reopen their baseball feud at Comiskey Park tomorrow in a doubleheader. Incidentally, classy second baseman Nellie Fox will be presented with the American League's Most Valuable Player Award for last year during the intermission. The Cubs are trying to even matters with the Cardinals at St. Louis under the lights tonight. The score after four and one-half innings is Chicago 4, St. Louis 2. In other action today, Pittsburgh locked horns with Cincinnati in a free-swinging affair, and when the dust had cleared, the Pirates had won their eighth straight by a score of 12 to 10. Boston edged Washington 2 to 1, Cleveland topped Kansas City 2 to 1. The Giants and Dodgers game gets underway later in the evening. And Milwaukee and Philadelphia were rained out in Beer Town. Here's Chicago's weather, clearing and colder with frost or freezing temperatures, except close to the lake tonight. 
with a low of around 30 degrees, but lower in some of the suburbs. Sunday, fair and cool, with a high of around 50 degrees. Sunday night, fair and not so cool, with a low in the mid-30s. And for Monday, fair and warmer. Officially in Chicago, 44 degrees, humidity 71%, winds out of the northwest at 18 miles per hour. That's five minutes of the latest news as compiled in the WLS Newsroom. Your reporter, Jerry Golden. Next newscast, World of National News from the ABC Radio Network at 9.55. You're in tune with 890 on the dial. This is WLS in Chicago. Yeah, Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. That's because up front, ahead of its pure white filter, Winston has exclusive filter blend. Light, clear-flavored tobaccos, specially selected and specially processed for filter smoking. It's the best. Best-tasting, best-selling filter cigarette. That's Winston, man. You know, I like the nice way Bob Etcher and his very special gal friends sing the tried-and-true country and western songs, don't you? So let's say we join them now. Oh, they run to the briars and they run to the brambles and they run to the bushes where the rabbits couldn't go. They run so fast that the hound could catch them down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Old Hickory said we could take them by surprise. If we didn't fire a musket, still we looked them in the eyes. Held our fire till we seized the faces well. Then we opened up our squirrel guns and really gave them well. We fired our guns and the British kept them coming. There wasn't I as many as there was a while ago. Fired once more, and they began to run it down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. We fired our cannon till the barrel melted down, and we grabbed an alligator and we fought another round. Filled his head with cannonballs and powdered his behind, and when we touched the powder off, the gator lost his mind. Fired our guns and the British kept them coming. There wasn't I as many as there was a while ago. Fired once more, and they began to run it down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, they run to the briars and they run to the brambles and they run to the bushes where the rabbits could go. They run so fast that the hounds couldn't catch them down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> there was a tune that got to be a great big hit in all fields of music, sung by a bunch of hilly billies. <laughs> the Battle of New Orleans. Maggie, I'll tell you what I'll do, make a little deal with you. I'll pull this microphone down to your size if uh, if you'll sing us a song. Will you do that? Yes. Well, first let me tell the folks that the next 15-minute portion of our Hayloft Fun is brought to you by the Decon Division of Sterling Drug Company, and now my mean old wife is going to sing for us, Green Grow the Lilacs. <laughs> Green grow the lilacs, all sparkling with you. My heart breaks in two, cause springtime is here, and it's here without you. As sure as the bluebirds that fly all above, springtime is there without someone. Troubles my mind in a world full of men, not one boy is mine. Green grow the lilac, all sparkling with you. Green grow the lilac when winter is through. Peace, I like the lilac, my heart. In two, cause springtime is here, and it's here without you. They say that it's best to 
Forget what we had Than it is to remember And always feel sad But still I keep wondering Each now and then If ever I'll hold you And kiss you again Please far better half of the Atcher family, to our house. Friends, when you have a rat problem, then you know that a rat bait is only effective when the rats actually eat it. And if you've wasted your time and money on baits that rats won't eat, listen to this. In demonstrations at county fairs all over the country, millions of people actually watched rats eagerly eat decon, the world's best rat killer. Yes, rats just can't resist Decon's exclusive LX321 formula. Eat Decon hungrily, yet never suspect its bait, and that each bite puts another nail in their coffins. Decon, used as directed, is safe to use around small children, pets, poultry, and livestock. Yet it's guaranteed to keep your property rat and mouse free forever. Remember, a rat bait is only effective when rats eat it, and millions of people have seen for themselves how rats hungrily eat decon, the rat killer that outsells all others put together. So insist on decon, spelled D-C-O-N, decon. You can get it at Kokomo Electric Hatchery at Kokomo, Indiana, at Kurth's Food Mart in Wilmington, Illinois, and at Ace Hardware... 8940 South Chicago Avenue, Chicago, Illinois. On with our national barn dance now. And at the microphone is Lino Frigo with his accordion. And probably, uh, I see he is. I was going to say that, that Dave Chalso would horn in on this one because these oh. boys have played this one together many, many times. Here it is, Dave Chalso and Lino Frigo with El Cumpanchero. <laughs>
El Cumpanchero, Dave Tasso, uh, moved away from the, the big hayloft orchestra, brought his fiddle over and played along with Lino Frigo. And I thought Harry Hawthorne was going to beat right through the head of those bongos. Did he break it? <laughs> oh, my. Well, that was good. We haven't heard yet from the curly-headed cowboy from California, Cy Burton. Cy, I see that uh, you're going to put the Hayloft Orchestra through their paces here. Oh, Bob, we got the best orchestra this side of the San Fernando Valley. Yeah. And a boy. Right, Let me tell you. Got a good one, I'll tell you, and, and everybody enjoys this tune. It's the title song from the big, big play, Oklahoma. Come sweeping down the plain And the waving wheat It sure smells sweet When the wind comes right behind the rain Oh, I'm home every night My honey lamb and I Sit alone and talk And watch a hawk Making lazy circles in the sky We know we belong to the land And the land we belong to is grand And when we say Yay. We're only saying you're doing fine, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, know that a rat killer is only effective when the rats actually eat it. And that's why more and more farmers have turned to Decon, the rat killer that rats can't resist. Here's what Alan D. Meyer, who owns 280-acre farm near Fargo, North Dakota, says about Decon, and I quote, I fought rats with lye, poison hamburger, cats, just about everything, but nothing worked. Then I tried Decon, and I'm not sorry. It sure killed the rats on my farm. Decon's the first rat killer that's worked for me. Unquote. Yes, farmers know that a rat killer is only effective when the rats actually eat it. And rats can't resist eating Decon's exclusive LX321 formula, yet they never suspect its bait. Decon used as directed as safe to use around small children, pets, poultry, and livestock. Yet it's guaranteed to keep your property rat and mouse free forever. So always insist on Decon, D-C-O-N, Decon, the world's best rat killer. You can get Decon at Walton Department Store, Fairbury, Illinois, at Stone's Hardware and Auto Supply in Lockport, Illinois, and at Genson or Jensen, <laughs> I hate to mispronounce anyone's last name, but it's spelled G-E-N-S-O-N, Jensen Hardware at Kankakee, Illinois. Rats and mice will disappear for a seek on that they fear they'll be gone, passed away. Call for decon today. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what a choir we've got here. <laughs> I've always enjoyed that, boys. Thanks very much. Well, Lee Morgan. Lee, I see, uh, what do we got here? Somebody humming a starting note for you? I don't know what it is. <laughs> we... <laughs> Over in the corner of the old hayloft here, we've got a, a tone that's been going for some little while. But it stopped. Seems like the storm's over or something. What I was about to say is that Lee Morgan is about to team up with Davy Pitts here. And, you know, this is something I never thought of. The What's title this? of this song, Lonely as an Island, I never thought how lonely an island would get to be. 
well, let's out there all by itself. Let's kind of find out, shall we? All right. I'm lonely as an island in the middle of the sea. I'm sadder than a weeping willow tree. I keep crying like a baby when its mother's gone away. And that's the way I'll always be till you're back to stay. I can't Pretty lonely. Yeah. Well, by the name of uh, Tommy Zhang, I think he had something to do with writing that song. Zhang went the strings of my heart. Zhang went the strings. Zhang went the strings of my heart. That was lonely as an island, sung for us by Lee Morgan and Davy Pitts. Friends, the past 15 minutes of the National Barn Dance has been brought to you by the Decon Division of Sterling Drug Company. Coming to the microphone now. This little girl, I think, uh, I have probably made more speeches about than anybody else in this big National Barn Dance family, but for very good reason. She has been uh, uh, a phenomenon in the in the whole uh, show world for for some time, and I've, I've mentioned that her picture has appeared on the front cover of more sheet music than any other person in our United States. And we've always been very, very proud of the fact that uh, Grace Wilson has been a part of our National Barn Dance family. And one of the great reasons for it is the fact that uh, no matter what the situation may be, Grace always has a great big grin and a good word for everybody. And uh, right now, she's going to hand out a little advice to you and me. Grace Wilson has a song called A Smile Will Go a Long, Long Way. You know, Bob, smiling faces Always find a welcome. Now that's why everyone should learn to smile. Just remember, after all, our troubles may be small. Here's a little thought that's worth your while. When you're blue, and you're kind of lonesome too You're going to find a smile Will go a long, long way When you're down Don't sit around and frown You'll find a smile Will go a long, long way Never grieve Just try to make believe the skies are blue, although you know they're kind of gray. 
And honey, don't you cry. It's just a waste of time. You'll find a smile. We'll go a long, long way. Yeah, that little smile when you're blue and you're kind of lonesome too. You're going to find a little smile. We'll go a long, long way. And when you're down, don't sit around and frown. You'll find a smile go a long, long way. Never grieve, just try to make believe. The skies are blue, although you know they're gray. And honey, don't you pine, it's just a waste of time. You'll find a smile will go a long, long way. A smile will go a long, long way. Sung for us by Grace Wilson, and you're absolutely right, Grace. A smile will go a long, long way. Say, how are you feeling tonight? Tired? Worn out? Ready to drop in your tracks? Well, there's certainly no need for that. If you're tired because of iron deficiency anemia, and a great many people are, you can feel better in just six days. How? S, S, S. Yes, yes, yes. Exciting new formula, 3S Tonic's your answer. New formula, 3S Tonic, is the same 3S Tonic that's helped millions of people, but with a new combination of iron and vitamins to build back blood power fast. 3S Tonic goes to work in your iron-starved blood in 24 hours. You feel better in just six days, or you get your money back. Now, about tonight, start taking new formula 3S Tonic. Then, in just six more nights, you should feel better. And if you're just getting over a winter cold or the flu, take 3S Tonic to help build up your rundown condition. Yes. Yes, yes. S, S, S. Get new formula S, S, S tonic today. Liquid or tablets. Well, here's that boy from Ozark, Missouri. Put on the big bass fiddle and picked up the little fiddle. And... Uh, He's going to town on a tune called Apple Blossom. Here is Toby Dick. Friends, we're going to take... Five minutes out now while you catch up on the very latest network news. We'll be back at 9 o'clock sharp with more National Barn Dance. You're in tune with 890 on the dial. This is WLS in Chicago. Now this is your man on the street for the new WLS radio. Oh, pardon me. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Put the 
knapsack on my back, the rifle on my shoulder. I'll march away to Mexico, and there I'll be a soldier. Fire on my prison feet, fire on my daisy, fire on my prison feet. You almost drive me crazy. Coffee grows on the white oak trees, river flows with brandy, rocks in the hills all covered with gold, and the girls all sweeter than candy. Fire on my prison feet. little pink you almost drive me crazy well we're off and running for another big hour of national barn dance friends and this is the portion of our program that for some time now has been dedicated to the individual stars of the national barn dance and for one of the brightest listen to this theme remember the times we've had Broken every record ever set in the world of show business. Grace Wilson. Imagine one show for 36 years and a little over. Aside from that, record after record after record. This is her own special visit with you now, so listen. She'll talk and sing to you. I am Thank you, thank you, Bob. <laughs> Everybody's so nice. Thanks again, Bob Atcher. I tell you what, he is an inspiration to me, and he said something a little while ago about making many speeches about me. Well, I know that none of you have ever resented anything he said because you write me and tell me that. You say, I like the things that Bob Atcher says about you, and that makes me happy. So now a tune I like to sing because this is the last day of April, so it's got to be April showers and rain, huh? <laughs> April shower, they come your way, they bring the flowers that bloom in May, so if it's raining, have no regret, because it isn't rain and rain, you know, it's raining by. When you see clouds upon the hill, you soon will see crowds of daffodils. So keep on looking for that bluebird and listening for his song whenever April showers come along. Let us cuddle while the rain Pitter patters on the pane And we're alone A chance to while away A dreamy afternoon A bright and dreamy afternoon No one can see us Rain It's so cozy in the rain there's no reason to complain if she's with you to hold her hand and then it's ten to one you kiss her in the rain, rain, rain. When April showers come your way, they bring that bloom in May. So keep on looking for that bluebird and listening 
for his song whenever April showers come along. Thank you, boys and girls. And that's the last chance for April showers until next year this time, we hope. I'll be singing it somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> and right now, a tune that I'm doing because of many requests, Please believe that. It's a tune that they've loved through the years. Irving Berlin's beautiful Always. Oh, everything went wrong And the whole day long I feel strong I forget to smile Then I, I met you Now that my blue days are past Now that I found you at last Oh, I'll be loving you Things you planned need that helping hand. I will understand always, always. Days may not be fair, always. That's when I'll be there. For just an hour and not for just a day, not for just a year, but always. <laughs> That's a tune that will never die. It'll be popular many years after I'm gone, I'm sure. I want to mention, too, that I mean that song, every word of it, for these good friends who have never failed me throughout these many years. I'll be loving you always. And now to close my little part of the show tonight, I want to sing a hymn that I love very, very much, and I know you do, too. It's titled, He Keeps Me Singing. In my heart, a melody. Jesus whispers, sweet and low. Fear not, I am with thee. Peace, be still. In all of life, 
ebb and flow. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. All my life was wrecked by sin and strife. His heart filled my heart with pain. Jesus swept across the broken strings, stirred the slumbering chord again. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. barn dance. A special there for Grace Wilson. You know how to tell what a person is really like? Just watch him drive. Most anyone can apply the whitewash to give all appearances of being a lady or a gentleman. But when the chips are down... When just one driver cuts in front of him and robs him of his so-called right of way, then you'll see the sparks fly in his true nature. In many cases, the nature of a self-centered boob. Remember this, your driving reflects you. If you want to be considered by your friends and family as a responsible person, then act like one behind the wheel as well as elsewhere. Safe driving is a moral responsibility. When you drive, you're responsible, not only for your own safety, but also the safety of others you carry with you or meet on the road. Just as you hope they'll watch out for you, so you must watch for them. Be a good guy and a safe one. Be a responsible driver. Join in the fun, get your blues on the run with Lee Morgan and the Midwesterners. Yeah. Here are five very honest kids, kids from the Midwest, who call themselves the Midwesterners, and a special visit all their own with you now, the spokesmistress for the group, Lee Morgan. Well, all yours, Lee. Thank you, Robert. Uh, we had some good news today, and we'd kind of like to let everybody in on it. We just heard from J.J. Records that our a single has come out on the Clapping Polka, one of our barn dance favorites. And good. we kind of we like to have everybody buy one, so in case someday when we're not around here, they can still clap along with us anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, should we go right at it, fellas? All the right, clap and polka. One, two. When they play the clap and polka, oh, it's fun to clap along. Dance the clap and polka, hey, it's such a happy song. Swing your partner around and then you swing your partner around again. And clap, 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 clap along. Polka, 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 dance the clap and polka. Round and round and round you dance the clap and polka. Your 
kind of helped us out there. Mm -hmm. And now, Dave, if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind if you'd sing, I don't mind. <laughs> Days are long since you have gone and left me feeling blue. I don't mind. I'm still in love with you Nights go by I sit and cry There's nothing left to do I don't mind Cause I'm still in love with you I stand out the window I sit and watch the door I toss on my pillow and get up and walk the floor and if you should find you've changed your mind and want to start anew I won't mind I'm still in love with you I stare out the window I sit and watch the door I toss on my pillow And get up and walk the floor and if you should find you've changed your mind and want to start anew, I won't mind, cause I'm still in love. kind of like to move along. Eddie, if you'd like to come up here and sing a song with me, I'd sure enjoy it. Oh, I would too. Eh? When my blue moon turns to gold again. Memories that linger in my heart. Memories that make my heart grow cold. But someday Well, 
know, that's a real nice song. And I'll tell you, we had gold, and now we're going to have a little bit of silver. I think just about one chorus of it will just do it, Eddie. All How right. about singing for us? Great. <laughs> on the dial. This is WLS in Chicago. This is your man on the street for the new WLS radio. Oh, pardon me, sir. Could you identify this sound? Sure. That's a jet airplane. No, I'm sorry. That sound is the new WLS cheer up sound. Listen for the big news. Dial 890 in Chicago Monday for the big news. Cheer up. Still think it's a jet plane. It's 925. Good evening. This is Jerry Golden reporting five minutes of the latest news as compiled in the WLS newsroom. Chicago police are intensifying their search tonight for 18-year-old Jerry Nemke, the prime suspect in the vicious assault and beating of a 16-year-old waitress. The girl, Marilyn Ray Duncan of 5537 North Luna Avenue, is in critical condition tonight at Resurrection Hospital following surgery for severe blows about the head. A pair of sunglasses identified as Nemke's were found near the unconscious girl this morning on a railroad right-of-way on the northwest side. Ten teams of detectives were assigned to the search for Nemke. The ceremonies dedicating the new University of Chicago Law School continue tonight. This afternoon, Chief Justice Earl Warren met with the students and faculty on the Midway campus. This evening, his British counterpart, Viscount Kilmuir, Lord High Chancellor of Great Britain, will speak. And on another part of Chicago's campus... Things are festive, but not so formal. It's the annual Beau Arts Ball. Movie stars Edward Everett Horton and Colleen Moore will choose the best costumes. A threatened strike by Continental Airlines flight engineers has been averted at the last minute. An injunction issued by a federal judge in Los Angeles prevented the walkout of 39 engineers at Chicago's Midway and O'Hare airports and at other fields where the airline operates. The engineers are protesting a company plan which would force them to take pilot training. A Milwaukee man made good his threat to break into a jewelry store today because he wanted to go to jail. 22-year-old James Nearbass called police and informed them of his intention. After smashing the window of a jewelry store and taking a cigarette lighter, he went to a restaurant and again called police to ask them to arrest him. Nearbass said he wanted to be jailed because he had suffered misfortunes including the death of his childhood sweetheart. He was charged with criminal damage to property. The search for two lacrosse youths apparently drowned in the Mississippi River Wednesday will go into its fourth day tomorrow. Yesterday, searchers recovered a boot worn by one of the boys about a quarter of a mile north of the boathouse from which the two disappeared. The youths are Paris Engler and William Crutz, both 17. The boys' boat, a 10-foot skiff, and the leather jacket of William Crutz were found earlier about two miles downstream from the houseboat. A move to consolidate all the lower courts into a single circuit court system will be put before the Illinois Central Assembly. The governing board of Illinois State and Chicago Bar Association announced approval for such an amendment to the state constitution. Gerald Snyder, president of the Illinois Bar Association, says selection of judges would be changed under the amendment to a new procedure. A list of names would be submitted to the voters, and the incumbents would run on their records. Well, in baseball today, rain in Chicago flooded out the White Sox game with Detroit and washed the Yankees into undisputed first place in the junior circuit. 
The Yanks easily subdued the Baltimore Orioles by a lopsided score of 16 to nothing. The Pale Hose and Detroit, now a half game behind New York, reopen their baseball feud at Comiskey Park tomorrow in a doubleheader. Incidentally, classy second baseman Nellie Fox will be presented with the American League's Most Valuable Player Award for last year during the intermission. The Cubs are trying to even matters with the Cardinals at St. Louis under the lights tonight. The score after four and one-half innings is Chicago 4, St. Louis 2. In other action today, Pittsburgh locked horns with Cincinnati in a free-swinging affair, and when the dust had cleared, the Pirates had won their eighth straight by a score of 12 to 10. Boston edged Washington 2-1, to one. Cleveland topped Kansas City 2-1. to one. The Giants and Dodgers game gets underway later in the evening, and Milwaukee and Philadelphia were rained out in beer town. Here's Chicago's weather, clearing and colder with frost or freezing temperatures, except close to the lake tonight, with a low of around 30 degrees, but lower in some of the suburbs. Sunday, fair and cool with a high of around 50 degrees. Sunday night, fair and not so cool, with a low in the mid-30s. And for Monday, fair and warmer. Officially in Chicago, 44 degrees, humidity 71%, winds out of the northwest at 18 miles per hour. That's five minutes of the latest news as compiled in the WLS Newsroom. Your reporter, Jerry Golden. Next newscast, World and National News from the ABC Radio Network at 9.55. You're in tune with 890 on the dial. This is WLS in Chicago. <laughs> yeah, Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. That's because up front, ahead of its pure white filter, Winston has exclusive filter blend. Light, clear-flavored tobaccos, specially selected and specially processed for filter smoking. It's the best. Best Best-tasting, best-selling filter cigarette. That's Winston, man. 9.30. You know, I like the nice way Bob Etcher and his very special gal friends sing the tried and true country and western songs, don't you? So what say we join them now? Got a little song to sing for you. Like to get in a little word or two. All headed man. And it's been all wise. Hand in hand on the way to life. Sing a little song and move on. Move on and move on. Sing a little song and move on. And I hope you like the show. Hey, hey, hey. hey. hey, hey. I won't run away yet, uh, honey. You just uh, haul off and do the talking. All if right. You, uh, if you laugh, though, I'll step in here and uh, <laughs> start talking myself. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'd like. Laugh, may, all right. May I start? <laughs> <laughs> may I start off with a real, real old song? Of, I suppose you'd call it a folk song, but it goes back to Elizabethan days. Yes, and this it, is uh, an old, old English. Old uh, English, ballad that yes, goes ballad. back to, as you say, Thank Elizabethan you. days. Thank <laughs> you. Mm-hmm. Green sleeve. Alas, my love, you do me wrong to catch me off discourteously, for I Why? 
was all my joy. Green was my heart of gold, and who but my lover? Green Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> And now, <laughs> Bob, Bob, your turn. I think this is uh, really one of my very favorite songs that you do. It's kind of a sacred song, isn't it? It is. It's uh, Actually, it's an old cowboy hymn, and it has a recitation also that goes along with it. And these days, more than ever, I think it's up to date. Yes, I think so, too. In fact, uh, in the recitation, there have been a few uh, small changes that uh, do actually bring it up to date. Honey, you know, I, I heard a while ago that uh, for the last 30 years, there's been a group of ladies who've gotten together each Saturday night and listened to the National Barn Dance. And they're together tonight again, as usual, at the home of Ethel Smith. Well. And these ten ladies have uh, have been uh, just good old buddies. Good. And I, I uh, sort of hope they enjoy this song as much as I do. This is a song, friends, which... Uh, Maybe we'll give you a, a little idea of what happens to a person when he spends his life in open country. I've mentioned this before on the National Barn Dance, but I'd like to mention it again. That we who live in big cities, completely and altogether surrounded by things that are made by the hand of man, are in a pretty good position to forget. But the man who lives out in the open country... Everything around him made by the hand of God has very little opportunity to forget. And these are some of the thoughts that he has. Oh, the place where they built by the hand of the Lord. Yes, the place where I is the wide open spaces built by the hands of the Lord. And he has given it to you and to me for all the world to see. There are no doors, no iron curtains, and all men are free. There in the air, like a joyous prayer, you can hear him say, This is your country. This is your home. Keep its splendor and guard its glory. It's a song of freedom, ringing from the valley to the hilltop. It never, never stops. And all the birds on the wing are like a choir. You can hear them sing, you're free to worship here. All races, all creeds are one before God. And as you rest beside a silver stream, there pours into your soul a feeling of peace and of quiet. And you give thanks to him for making the eyes of your heart see the heritage he has given to you and to me. Yes, the place where I worship is the wine. How many biscuits can you eat? <laughs> oh, buttered hot with glass of sweet? Yeah. <laughs> Forty-nine and a ham of meat. Good. <laughs> this morning, this evening, right now. Can we do that right now? How many biscuits can you eat this morning? Good morning, this evening, right now. Come on, John. 
about it, but uh, I don't worry about it, because Dad always said an empty barn didn't need a cover. <laughs> Say, does it seem to you that you're climbing uphill all day long, never getting anywhere, all tired out and run down? Well, maybe this is your answer. S, S, S. Yes, yes, yes. If your tiredness is due to iron deficiency anemia, you can feel better with exciting new formula 3S tonic. It's the same iron-rich 3S tonic that's helped millions of people build up their blood power, now with vitamins added. 3S tonic goes to work in 24 hours. You feel better in just six days. Get some new formula 3S tonic. Take it according to directions. And if you don't feel better in six days, you get your money back. That's right. That's how sure the SSS folks are that new formula 3S tonic with iron and vitamins can build up your blood power and make you feel better fast. And if you're just getting over a bad cold or the flu, take 3S tonic to help build back body strength fast. Yes, yes, yes. Get new formula vitamin enriched SSS tonic today. Liquid or tablets. <laughs> visit now on our National Barn Dance. This is a portion of our big old show that's devoted to the folks who come to our country in the last two or three generations from another land. The polka, as you know, is the folk music of many other countries. Uncle Duke Platt, the foremost authority in the whole Midwest on the polka, is leading his famous band, the Cat Platts and Jammers. <laughs> With some of the, the most popular of the, of the polkas. Here's one that's sure in tune with the times. Uncle Lou Clatt, the Clatts and Jammers, and the Springtime Polka. <laughs>
clats and jammers in the springtime polka. We're going to have a, a polka now that features Emilio Silvestri. This one, of course, uh, due to the fact that Emilio plays about 19 different instruments, yeah. uh, but uh, he's going to specialize on the clarinet on this one, and I don't think I need to tell you which uh, polka that's to be. The cl His clarinet and the clarinet polka, along with Lou Clatt and the Clatt and Jammers. Now we've got the Lehigh Valley polka. Here we go. One, two. <laughs> This wild bunch of Indians, I don't see how in the world <laughs> they managed to stay together long enough to keep their minds on a tune long enough to play it all the way through, but they sure do, don't they? Well, here they are again, and this time in answer to a very special request, the Tinker Polka. <laughs>
catch up on the very latest news with Jerry Golden. WLS Radio, 890 in Chicago. Good cheer up. Cheer up. We now join the ABC Radio Network. Time for weekend news from ABC Radio, live at 55. Brought to you by America's best-selling, best-tasting filter cigarette, Winston. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Charles Woods reporting from the ABC Radio Newsroom in New York. The House Space Committee has scheduled hearings next month on possible U.S. development of airliners that would travel at the rate of 2,000 miles an hour. In calling the hearings, Chairman Overton Brooks of Louisiana said that France, England, and Russia reportedly already are working on such planes. Jets, the fastest passenger planes, now travel at about 600 miles an hour. Turkish government officials are making arrangements to distribute food during a 24-hour-long curfew that starts at 4 o'clock this morning. The curfew was called as NATO foreign ministers were arriving in Istanbul for a pre-summit meeting on Monday. About 100 students, demonstrating against the government of Premier Menderes, staged a protest in front of the hotel where Secretary of State Herter and British Foreign Secretary Lloyd are staying. But infantry troops broke up the demonstration. Some 3,000 students were arrested earlier today. Leading personalities in West Europe protested the execution of Carol Chessman today as his lawyers were making a last-minute appeal to save the convict author from the gas chamber on Monday. Stars in the French sports and show business world signed a petition, and the dean of law at the University of Florence sent California Governor Edmund Brown a cable. Meanwhile, his attorneys petitioned the California State Supreme Court for a stay of execution, a petition that won't be heard until two hours before Chessman is scheduled to die. I have more news in just a moment. Talk about best-selling records. Here's a familiar tune about America's best-selling filter cigarette, Winston. because only Winston has filter blend up front. Choice, flavorful tobaccos, specially selected and specially processed for filter smoking. No wonder Winston tastes good. Like a cigarette should. Smoke Winston. Back to the news. Salvage crews have recovered the bodies of two jet bomber crewmen from the Great Salt Lake. Victims were members of the civilian crew of a supersonic jet that crashed in the lake eight days ago. A third crewman parachuted to safety. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Arlie Burke says he thinks that the chances of an all-out nuclear war are extremely remote. Burke made that statement today at a news conference in Chester, Pennsylvania. A Havana newspaper says it has received unconfirmed reports that Captain Manuel Beaton, leader of the anti-Castro revolt, has been captured. The report said that Beaton and six of his men were seized in the Sierra Maestra Mountains. Meantime, thousands of Cuban peasants and field workers are gathering in Havana tonight for a huge May Day rally expected to bring new anti-American attacks tomorrow. Other large May Day rallies are planned for Tokyo, Berlin, and Moscow. Now our alternate sponsor. When excess stomach acid brings on heartburn pain, remember in a way no other antacid does, Chews and Chews alone stops acid pain in the heartburn zone. You see, Chews is the chewing gum antacid. Now, other antacids quickly go right into your stomach, but Chewing Chews releases a steady flow of medicine, effectively soothes your heartburn zone and goes on to neutralize excess acid in your stomach. So remember, it's Chews and Chews alone for acid pain in the heartburn zone. (laughs) 
Weekend News has been brought to you by Winston. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Charles Woods reporting. This is the ABC Radio Network. You're in tune with 890 on the dial. This is WLS in Chicago. A look at Chicago's weather forecast tonight, clearing and colder with frost or freezing temperatures, except close to the lake. Low of around 30 degrees, but lower in some of the suburbs. Sunday, fair and cool with a high of around 50 degrees. Sunday night, fair and not so cool with a low in the mid-30s. For Monday, fair and warmer. The official temperature in Chicago, 44 degrees. The time at the tone, 10 o'clock. Now, Bob Etcher, let's get on with our special visit in time on the one and only WLS National Barn Dance. So if that Hewitt boy and his pals, the Sage Riders, are ready and willing, put them on, my friend. When you hear me call the old lady, that means we'd like to say hello. Here you are, Jerry Golden, the king of the National Barn Dance, Dolph Hewitt, along with his buddies, the Sage Riders, for a special visit all their own. All yours, Dolph. Well, thank you, Bob Atcher, and uh, I'll tell you, I feel a little bit like walking up to get the gangplank to a ship and got up to the end of it and there's no ship there. <laughs> I don't quite know where to go here. <laughs> Somebody said we're going to have a, two, uh, a vacation here, but nobody has told me just quite how long. You know? <laughs> well, I think I'll do like Maggie said to Bob. She said this before the bar and dad said, now, Bob, get in there and pitch and let your hair down. And... <laughs> Uh, what did, what did we start out with, fellas? You got anything particular you'd like to hear? Don't let the stars yeah, get in your eyes. Yeah, yeah, you don't like that one? Yeah, you yeah, you seen that written down there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> don't let the stars get in your eyes. Don't let the moon break your heart. Love blooms at night. In daylight it dies, don't let the stars get in your eyes, don't keep your heart for me, for someday I'll return, you know you're the only one I'll ever love. Too many nights, too many stars, too many moons could change your mind. If I'm gone too long, don't forget where you belong. When the stars come out, remember you are mine. Don't let the stars get in your eyes. Don't let the moon break your heart. Love blooms at night. In daylight it dies. Don't let the stars get in your eyes. Don't keep your heart for me. For someday I'll return. You know you're the only one I'll ever love. You're... The only one I'll ever love. Hey. Hey. Don't let the stars get in your eyes. Well, by golly, the fellas have to watch me like a hawk on that one, don't you? When I find a good note, I hang on to it a while. Yeah. It don't idea. matter much about the bars or, you know, or the meter of the thing. That meant very little to me when I learned to play and sing way back in them hills of Pennsylvania. The bars were something that you put up to keep the cow in. You That's know? right. You know, we just had our elections around here, and a fellow come over to see Toby. And Toby says, I wouldn't vote for you if you were St. Peter himself. And the candidate said, well, if I were St. Peter, you, you couldn't vote for me because I wouldn't be in your jurisdiction. <laughs> <laughs> One thing sure, Toby, them politicians will never get in your hair, will they? That's for sure. I haven't got any. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Neither have I. I'm getting got a, a little bit. Well, a little bit. Kind of a circle there, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Here's a trio that uh, the Sons of Pioneers did and did way better than we do, so I don't know why we should do this to you. But anyhow, it's a tune that we enjoy an awful lot. I hope you folks enjoy it out there, too. It's called I Still Do. <laughs> Still do. 
Well, I'll tell you, we've got a fellow here on the card in that will never worry about a job because he can take in washing. <laughs> he plays the accordion. He's got a stomach that looks just like a washboard. <laughs> Lean old, let's hear you splash around in the Alamo. Huh? Yeah. only WLS National Barn Dance, Bob Atcher, take it away. An old cowpoke went riding out one cold and windy day. Upon the ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red-eyed cows he saw plowing through the ragged sky. And up a cloudy draw. Yippee! Yippee! Ghost heard in the sky. Their brands were still on fire, and their hooves were made of steel. Their horns were black and shiny, and their hot breath he could feel. A bolt of fear went through him as they thundered through the sky, for he saw the riders coming hard. And he heard their mournful cry. Yippee, I Faces gone, their eyes were blurred, and shirts all soaked with sweat. They're riding hard to catch that herd, but they ain't caught him yet. Cause they've got to ride forever on that range up in the sky. On horses snorting fire. As they ride on, hear their cry. Yippee-i-ay. Riders in the sky. As the riders loped on by him, he heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell, riding on our race. Then cowboy, change your ways today or with us you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's fur. Across these endless skies. Yippee! I In the sky 
ghost riders in the sky. Riders in the sky with help from all the kids. Oh, me, I get a little out of breath when I sing that. <laughs> Wonderful to hear all those voices, though, blended together in harmony, shouting those those yippee eyes right back at me. Coming to the microphone now, our queen, Grace Wilson, and she has a song that uh, sort of, sort of, uh, Oh, wonderful. Had a change of program here. Just, I don't mind a bit. Here is the little girl who for years was known on the National Barn Dance as the bringing home the bacon girl for very special reason. This song has always been a part of Grace Wilson. And she's going to show you why right now. Bring home some bacon, Gracie. It's her Bobby. It was the first one I ever sang on that old barn dance, you know you take a look at me, you take a look at me, I'm another self-made man, yeah. Oh, I made a lot of dough now, I want to go back home. Yes, mammy. Oh, man, I've had my lesson when it comes to running wild. Hereafter, I'm confessing that I'm a mammoth angel child. Frigo in rehearsal this evening, I said, I, I think I ought to sing that old bacon song. You know what? I sang it on the very first barn dance, and I'll be singing it on the uh, very last one. Uh-huh. And he said, that'll make nice bookends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Long bookends. Oh, thank goodness for the sense of humor that runs loose in this old gang. Right now, it's time for Cy Burton to come to the microphone. Hi, Hello. Cy. Say, Bob, you know, Johnny Frigo, oh, about 30 minutes ago, sat down, and he knocked out an arrangement on this that... I think it's very good. It uh, just goes to show the versatility of our people. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll sure listen to it, Cy, and you sing it. Just as I love her. Just say I love her. I should say. Just say I love her. I've loved her from the start. And tell her how I'm yearning. To say what's in my heart Just say I need her As roses near the rain And tell her that without her 
my dreams are all in vain. If you should chance to meet her any time, any place, anywhere. Say I love her and want her back again. I love her. Sung for us by Cy Burton, the curly-headed cowboy from California. Friends, do you enjoy your work? Well, now, I'm not going to tell you that working all day has to be fun, but it can be easier, a lot easier, especially if you're one of those folks who's always worn out, don't know how you're going to get your work done. If you're tired all the time, you may be suffering from iron deficiency anemia, and if so, here's your answer. S. 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 Yes, 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 that's right. Exciting new formula, 3S Tonic. It's the same 3S Tonic that's helped millions, but with a new energy-giving combination of iron and vitamins to build your blood power. It tastes better, too. New formula, 3S Tonic, gets to work in 24 hours, and in just six days, you'll feel better. The SSS folks are so sure... They guarantee you'll feel better in six days, or you get your money back. And if you're feeling weak and run down after a bad cold or the flu, take 3S Tonic to help build your body strength back fast. Get SSS today, liquid or tablets. Well, we have a we have a little girl here in the hayloft who wants to sing a song for you now. But uh, before you sing, Lee, there's something that I wanted to say to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Lordy, happy birthday to you. And many, many more of them, Lee Morgan. It'll be kind of hard to sing with a lump in my throat. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, maybe we can get the lump to join the union and everything will be all right. You know? <laughs> uh, can I say a little bit of something about this number I'm going to say? Yes, you do that. Well, you know, this has always been my dream to be on the National Barn Dance ever since I was a kid. And this number that Patsy Montana sang at the, in the days back then, you know, was I Want to Be a Cowboy Sweetheart, and i kind of like to do it right now for you. Wonderful. <laughs> I want to be a cowboy sweetheart, want to learn to rope and to ride, I want to ride over the plains and the desert, out west of the great divide, I want to hear the coyote whining when the sun sinks in the west, I want to be a cowboy sweetheart, that's the life that I love the best. Oh, 
Lee, and uh, we're all tickled to death that you listened to Patsy Montana back when you were a tiny little girl and came to be with us here on the National Barn Dance. At this point, friends, I know many of you who are tuned in tonight probably uh, are tuned in for the first time in some time because of the fact that you've been reading the papers. And uh, aside from a few uh, comments that have been made and some of these things that you've seen in the papers... It is true, this is our last National Barn Dance in this big, long series. The uh, the show, as you know, was up until tonight, and it will still hold the record for quite a while before any other show could catch up to it, was the oldest, the longest, continuously broadcast program of any kind anywhere in the world. There's a reason for that. It wasn't uh, the oldest show for any reason other than the fact that so many people throughout the nation love to listen to it. It's you people who have been tuning in Saturday night after Saturday night for some 36 years who have made this a great show and have kept it on the air for so long. You know, you've heard it before, I'm sure, that a thing is not good because it's old, It's old because it's good. Throughout the years, this show has has been personally in front of millions and millions of people. And uh, those millions have said so many times the way they have felt about this particular kind of music. Now, for the same reason that the show has been around for so many years, it will continue. Not necessarily as the National Barn Dance, not here at WLS, but these bright stars that have grown to such high, high glory here on this big old show are not going to lose their glimmer. They're going to go right on. Grace Wilson, Dolph Hewitt, Lee Morgan, even Maggie, who is brand new here in our old hayloft. All of the boys and girls who have made up this big show for the past 36 years are still going somewhere, all that are not with us here tonight. Those stars don't dim. So long as any human soul is living who remembers the National Barn Dance, this show will live. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised to find that in a few weeks, possibly, You will hear a show made up possibly of some of the boys and girls who are right here tonight. We kind of hope that you'll watch the program listings in your newspapers because eventually you're going to see it pop up. Either the names of the boys and girls who are here or the name of the show itself. Now there's something that I would like to say on behalf of WLS and the new management. If you were a publisher of books, you would have a particular kind of book that you were accustomed to putting out. And if your business had grown to the point where you needed more space, more presses, and what have you, you'd search around the world till you found one. And at that point, you would publish the same kind of book that you had always published, the kind that you knew how to merchandise how to handle, you knew they were good books, so you're going to continue to publish that kind of book. And due to the fact that you bought a new press, new to you, 
those presses are going to put out a different kind of book from the kind they have always put out for you. That is your right and your privilege, just as it is the right of the new management of WLS to program the kind of music and the kind of entertainment that they know is good, they know how to handle. We, as boys and girls here in the old hayloft, will eventually find our little niche. And when we do, we hope somehow or other you find us. Because through the years, there has never been a more loyal audience than the listeners to the National Barn Dance. I'd like to ask the kids to just sort of walk up to the microphone here one by one now, and I want the queen to wait till last, because when she gets here, we want a song. Come on, kids. Here's Tiny Murphy right across the way. Would you like to stay so long for a bit? Sure will, Bob. So long, everybody. Thanks very much for listening. Oh, here's the king, Dolph Hewitt. Bob, it's been a pleasure, and thank you each and every one of you. Here's little Maggie. You've been wonderful to us, and hope we see you soon. Toby Nix. Thanks a lot, everyone. Thanks very much. Lino Frigo. Thanks, everyone. And here comes Johnny Frigo. He couldn't be very far behind. Thanks for being such a wonderful, faithful audience. Harry Hawthorne. Don't take too long getting up, boys and girls. It's an honor to be on the show, Bob. Well, thank you, Harry. Leon Dusty Sands. It's my pleasure and my ambition to be on the show, and I'm very happy that I was here right up to the end. And here's Davy Pitts. I'd like to say it's been very wonderful being with you and playing for the folks, Pop. And thank you, Zoll. <laughs> little Percival got in there. Cy Burton. Bob, I sure hope by working with the best, a little bit of that has rubbed off on me. I uh, might say that your baby's a year old now and hope just that much wiser. I, I'm going to miss you all. And, um... I'm going to miss being on here. Well, we'll miss you, Cy, and we'll also miss the folks. Eddie Vanna. It's been a privilege being with all of you. And here's Lee Morgan, the birthday gal tonight. What a birthday present, huh, Lee? Yes, it is. May God be with all of you until we meet again. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see. Who have I missed? Well, we asked the Queen to wait until the last because Grace is going to start our our closing now. And this is a little special because even though it is our last program with you as National Barn Dance, we're going to close it the same way we have been. Grace, you go to your church, and I'll go to mine, but let's walk along together. You're right, Bob. We will. You go to your church, and I'll go to mine, but let's walk along together. Our Father has built them side by side. So let's walk along together. The road is rough and the way is long, but we'll help each other. I'll go to mine, but let's walk along together. The chimes of time ring out. 890 on the dial. This is WLS in Chicago. 44 degrees in Chicago. The time 1055 as we join the ABC radio network.